one of the things that got me about this whole thing was people trying to blame Trump for it. And I know this is controversial, but I, I, I don't blame Trump. I think in many ways, Trump is similar to climate change in that I don't think you can pin any one storm directly on climate change, but you've got to admit that climate change has an effect on increasing the probability of these storms. And I feel like Trump is the same thing. I don't think he's the cause of any of these things, but he does in some way raise the temperature enough that we'll see more of these things happening. What I have started realizing, and it's a scary thought, is that I disagree with people who say Donald Trump inspired this shooter in New Zealand. For me, I feel like Donald Trump is inspired by the same things as the shooter in New Zealand. They're products of the same white supremacy. They believe the same things. You know, and Donald Trump will, and his people will run around always saying, oh, he's not a white supremacist. Yeah, but all white supremacists think he's a white supremacist. You know? Well, I'm just saying, if, if Beyonce and Justin Timberlake think I'm a great dancer, then... <laughs> I'm a great dancer. I mean, it's weird to say that I'm not. But he really is, he's a product of that. And that's scary because, you know, when you think that he's the figurehead, it makes it almost easier. You just go, if you just get rid of him, then the problem is gone. But I honestly believe that Donald Trump is a product of white supremacy. He's a product of that fear that has been instilled in many white men in America and in and around the world who have been led to believe that they're constantly under assault and that they're being replaced and their place in this world is, is at risk. You know, believe they're being replaced by black people, Mexican people, Jewish people, whoever they're being told. But they gen it is a, it is like a, it's a weird fear. It's a weird, it's a weird feeling that they have. They believe they're losing even though they're winning. And it's hard for many of them to see because they are winning. But like, in America, people would always argue, yeah, but you look at how jobs have declined. But look at this guy. He's in one of the best countries in the world to live in. So what is his argument? Genuinely, what is his argument? You start to realize that it, it isn't only economic anxiety. There's a larger narrative that's being spread online to a lot of white men in a very similar style that ISIS spreads its message. And that is that, hey, this is your true destiny. This is what's happening to you. You should be afraid and this is how you can fight back. And I think Donald Trump is as inspired by that message as the shooter was. That's why he needs his Janine Piros on TV to help him figure out how he feels about things. That's why he's so stressed when they're not on the air. <laughs> I think so. Baby needs his biddy.